Hi everyone, this is Hello Angel of Design. Today I am going to show you how to make this beautiful dress. It's a beautiful dress to make and a step-by-step -step tutorial. And it has a cap sleeve. I use this fabric for the sleeve and I use the blue fabric for the waistline. You can decide to add it so that it's more beautiful and the color pops out more. And I have used this fabric also to make this beautiful dress which has sleeve and is a puff sleeve and two layer skirt and the skirt instead of stitching I just put the ruffles at the top edge right here so this is how I also make this other one so I don't have enough blue fabric so I decide to make this one right here it's a beautiful dress to make the step-by-step tutorial when i talk about i don't have enough fabric that means that i have used that fabric to make dresses so for these dresses that you see right here i have made dresses for like two to eight years old child i don't want this fabric to get wasted so i have to come up with something else that is why i come up with this design right here please support us by subscribing thumbs up on our video share our video to your friends and loved ones those who are interested and please please subscribe subscribe subscription is free if you're just stopping by thank you for watching our video before you exit that video remember to subscribe turn on your notification bell button so that you don't miss any of our future video and let's get started first thing that you have to do you're going to grab your front and back pattern paper this is my front pattern paper this is my back pattern paper if you don't know how to make a basic pattern paper i'll put the link on the description box below so that you can go and watch that video i have shown how you can make your basic pattern paper what you are going to do you are going to add a few centimeter or a few inches at the waistline because this dress has a button loop at the center back so you want it to be free when the child is putting it on especially at the waistline you place your measuring tape at the waistline you can measure down one centimeter like this once you do that you take your ruler place it from the armhole so this is the armhole place it like this so you're placing the ruler a diagonal way it's not going to be straight and you just go ahead connect it from the armhole to that one centimeter and then you go ahead and join it at the waistline so once you join it like that you can take your scissors and cut it out I'll put the front pattern paper aside. This is the back pattern paper. You can see the excess right here. Place your measuring tape at the waistline. Measure down one centimeter. Once you've done that, take your ruler, connect it down. Once you connect it down, you take your scissors you and cut it out. I have cut it out. This is how it is. You can either add half an inch for the waistline or one centimeter. So what you are going to do, you're going to take your pattern paper, place it on your fabric. The front pattern paper, you're going to place it on fold. Add centimeter seam allowance at the size seam, armhole, shoulder, and neckline. It doesn't matter the centimeters that you're going to add as long as you add centimeter half an inch one inch one centimeter make sure you add it at the sizing armhole shoulder and neckline and you come down to the back pattern paper you're also going to place your back pattern paper on fold when you are cutting your fabric add seam allowance at the side seam armhole shoulder and neckline so go ahead and cut out your fabric i have cut out my fabric so i cut out my skirt i have two pieces right here i have shown many times how you can cut out your skirt take the total waistline of your front top dress times that by two or even times it by three any measurement that you get that will be for the front and you also do the same thing for the back if you want more volume, you can times it by three so that you have more volume for the skirt. So I have cut out my skirt and I've also cut out my back top dress. I put the back on fold, as you can see. 
I have two pieces right here. I'm going to use the same fabric to line in the top dress. And I've also cut out the front. I cut out two pieces. I'm also going to use the same fabric to line in the front. And I've also cut out my long fabric. This is the block fabric. So I am going to take the measurement. The measurement that I have here is one and a half inches if you're using centimeter measure four centimeters so i just take it to my ironing board and fold it into two make sure you cut a long fabric so that you can attach it at the waistline and i also cut my bias binding the width of my bias binding is 1.25 inch if you're using centimeter you can measure three point two centimeter and i cut my other fabric that i'm going to attach at the cap sleeve so you can see the cap sleeve i attach this fabric on the cap sleeve so i cut the same fabric right here so i'm going to tell you the measurement that i take so the measurement is also one and a half inches if you're using centimeter you can measure four centimeter and this is my cap sleeve if you don't know how to make a basic sleeve i'll put the link on the description box below please check that out but i have not shown how to make a cap sleeve for this tutorial i'm not going to show how to make a cap sleeve on my next tutorial i will show you guys how to make cap sleeve so that you can gather it at the top edge of your dress so what i'm going to do i'm going to use this fabric to line the cap sleeve so this will be for the front why this will be the lining i'm just going to pin my sleeve all around so i am going to cut this out i will pin it all around once i am done pinning i will take my scissors and i will go ahead and cut it out first thing that you have to do you take your cap sleeve so i'll put the fabric place it on top of it like this take your lining so i'll put them together like this I will take it to my sewing machine and I will top stitch. I'll pick the other pieces, place it like this, and I will take my lining, place it on top of it, take it to my sewing machine and top stitch. Once you have done stitching, turn it inside out and give it a good press. Once you have done that, make sure you stitch a gather stitch thread at the top edge of your cap sleeve. Stitch a gather stitch thread at the top edge of your cap sleeve. Once you have done that, you take your back top dress so what i'm going to do i'm going to take a measurement for the back top dress place your measuring tape like this from the neckline i'm going to measure them four inches or 10 centimeter you mark that you also turn it over place your measuring tape at the neckline you're going to take a measurement of four inches or 10 centimeter once you have done that what i'm going to do i'm going to put the back top dress in a different way you take your scissors i'm going to cut it all the way down so once you have done that you put that aside you also repeat the same process on the second back top dress the next thing that you have to do you take your back top dress you're going to put the both shoulder seam together like this pick the second pieces put the both shoulder seam together once you have done that take it to your sewing machine stitch the both shoulder seam and you also open the second fabric if you're using the same lining if you're using different fabric you also take your lining put the both shoulder seam together like this you take the second pieces Put the both shoulder seam together go ahead and stitch the shoulder seam together I have stitched the shoulder seam of my top dress and I've also stitched my calf sleeve all around. I set my sewing machine to the longest stitch. I stitch a gather stitch thread on the calf sleeve. This is how it is. And I also repeat the same process with the second calf sleeve. The next thing that you have to do, you're going to put your lining on top of it like this. That means on top of your top dress. 
you're going to pin it all around once you have done pinning take it to your sewing machine stitch around the neckline you are not stitching the armhole yet we are only stitching the neckline once you have done that you take your skirt this is my skirt this is the front of my skirt and you take the second pieces you're going to put them together put them together like this go ahead and stitch the side seam you also come down to this other side stitch the side seam once you have done that you can also take it to your overlocker overlock the side seam of your skirt you also overlock this other side seam of your skirt once you have done that set your sewing machine to the longest stitch you stitch a gather stitch thread on the top edge of your skirt I have stitched the neckline this is how it is i take it to my ironing board i give it a nice good press and i push the seam towards the lining and i under stitch it so you can see my under stitch right here so this is how i stitch my top dress neckline the next thing that we have to do we are going to stitch the center back what you are going to do you're going to put them together like this you can see the way I'm putting them together and then you pick them like this. You put them together, both neckline facing each other. So I will take my pin and I will first secure this together. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start pinning from the waistline to where we measure 4 inch or 10 centimeter. The next thing that you have to do, stitch from here down, stitch from here down. I want to show you step by step on how to achieve a perfect center back just the way you are seeing right here you can see the way my center back is so i'm going to show you step by step on how to achieve that so stitch from here here stitch from here here once you have done that make sure to prepare your button loop i have already stitched that in place so i'll go ahead and stitch it all the way down I have stitched the center back i take it to my ironing board i give it a good press just to press the seam apart and i also do the same thing on this side so when you are going to put them together this is the back dress this is the front top dress you put it together why this other side the back or the front together like this so what you are going to do we are going to pin them together so you pick your top dress like this you're pinning the two back both dress together so you go ahead and start pinning so when you're going to pin this together because this is where we are going to join it together make sure you pin it together and make sure that the both seam are matched and you just take your pin just to secure that together like this you can see the way it is i have not attached my button loop yet so the way i usually do it i'll go ahead and stitch it all around before i get to the end of the neckline then i will place my button loop inside so when you place your button loop inside make sure that the raw edges is coming out from the center back why this place that is folded is inside your top dress so once you place it inside and you just finish stitching, make sure to back stitch two to three times so that you secure the button loop together. So once you have done stitching, I will show you how my look and how you can snip this mid part right here so that when you take it to an ironing board and press it, it lies very perfectly. So go ahead and stitch that together. I have stitched the center back so what you are going to do this is where my stitches end so I'm going to take my scissors and snip it very close to my stitches but do not snip your stitches so that you don't uh, go back to your sewing machine and start stitching all over again I will snip it right there and I will just go ahead and snip it all around cut out the excess of your button loop 
like this and then continue snipping it all around you can see the way that is once you have done it like this take it to your ironing board go ahead and give it a nice good press i have ironed my center back together this is how it looks the next thing that you have to do take it to your sewing machine go ahead and give it a top stitch all around once you have done that you pick your front top dress put them together like this you stitch the side seam together you pick the other side put them together like this stitch the side seam together you come to this other side you repeat the same process stitch the side seam together once you have done that take it to your ironing board press the seam apart I have stitched the side seam together. I take it to my ironing board. I give it a good press. And for the center back, and I've also stitched around the center back. So what we are going to do, we are going to gather our calf sleeve on the armhole of the top dress. Before you do that, I will take my measuring tape like this, place it on the shoulder seam, just like this. I will pick my marker. So I'm going to measure down 2.25 inch like that and then I will come to this other side measure down 2.25 inch or five and a half centimeter so you mark that the purpose I mark that this is where I am going to gather from that is my so when I place my sleeve I'm going to gather to this point and I'm going to gather to this point so once you have done that, you come down to the, the side seam. You place your measuring tape again. You are going to take a measurement of 1.25 inch. So this is where my end right here. And then you come down to this other side, place your measuring tape again, measure down 1.25 inch. If you're using centimeter, you can take a measurement of 3.3 centimeter. So what you are going to do, you pick your sleeve, fold it into two, take your scissors, snip the mid part. So I will take my sleeve, put them together on the shoulder seam. I'm pinning both lining and the male fabric together at the same time. I will pin that like this. This is where I measure inside from the armhole, place it like this, make sure that the edges is out on the armhole and secure that with a pin like that and then you come down to this other side place it like this this is my 1.25 inch or 3.3 centimeter and the edges is facing out secure that with a pin so what you are going to do this is what you're going to gather so what you're going to do you just go ahead and start pulling your sleeve like this so this is where I am play the end where I am going to gather my sleeve. I will first go ahead and pin it to that point. So this is where it ends. That is why I put a different pin. So what I'm going to do, I am going to spread my gather. So I will spread it and start pinning. I have stitched my cap sleeve. This is how it looks once you have done that. I will turn the top dress inside out. So I'm just turning it inside out. I'll make sure that the sleeve is still inside. The sleeve will be inside. So we are going to take our bias binding to bind the armhole. Before you take your bias binding to bind the armhole, make sure that you remove your gather stitch thread. And when you are stitching your sleeve around the armhole, make sure that it's not up to one centimeter or half an inch. Depends on the seam allowance that you add on your armhole. When you place your bias binding to bind the armhole all around, then you can stitch your same allowance so what i'm going to do i am going to place my bias binding from inside that is front of my top dress so i will place it inside and 
pin my bias binding around the armhole so i have pinned my bias binding around the armhole this is how it is i will take it to my sewing machine and top stitch once i am done with that i will take my scissors cut out from the same allowance then fold it inside fold it again to cover the raw edges so go ahead and use bias binding to bind the armhole of your dress once you have done that we put the skirt together and your dress is almost ready I have used my bias binding to bind the bolt arm hole. This is how it is once you have done that. The next thing that you have to do, you are going to attach your strap at the waistline. What you are going to do, measure the total waistline, hey, cut your strap, make sure that you join it together, which I have already joined my together. So what I'm going to do, I am going to start pinning it on my top dress so when you're going to pin it on your top dress make sure that you separate your lining so you go ahead and start pinning it like this the edges of your strap is facing the edges of your top dress you pin it all around i have pinned it all around the next thing that you have to do take it to your sewing machine and top stitch once you have done stitching you pick your skirt and gather your skirt at the waistline of your top dress once you have done gathering take it to your sewing machine and top stitch I have stitched my skirt at the waistline this is how it is it's very beautiful step by step tutorial i have also taken it to my overlocker you can see that i overlock the raw edges the next thing that you have to do you are going to use your lining to cover the raw edges of your skirt whatever seam allowance that you use to stitch your skirt together make sure you when you're going to fold your lining to cover the raw edges for the same seam allowance inside and use it to cover your skirt raw edges. Once you have pinned it all around, the next thing that you have to do when you are going to stitch, you start stitching from the front of the dress, not inside. So what you are going to do, whatever fabric you attach at the waistline, make sure you push it down. You are going to be stitching on your May fabric, not on any design you attach on the dress that you make. Once you have done that, you use the opportunity to hem your dress. Fold inside one centimeter, fold it again, and top stitch. Once you have done that, you just go ahead and place your buttonhole at the center back of your dress. This is the final look of my dress, beautiful dress to make, step-by-step -step tutorial, three to four years old child. You can see how that is. Please make sure to watch the video until the end so that you don't miss anything out. And this is for two to three years old child. Thank you all so much for watching my video. Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Subscription is free. Share my video with your friends and loved ones. And you all should have a marvelous day. Bye.